fact is china doesn't want to concede people want them to pay but they are not going to pay because they own a very large manufacturing hub which as the world is the prey for it they only have to pay for it but they have ensured that china controls the manufacturing while as the other the world controls the brains so one who has the manufacturing is obviously going to call the shots right 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 so asif tell us uh, what should we look forward to this afternoon and uh, what kind of companies um, or what do you imagine will be the nature of those who are who are a part of this program over the next 2 hours or so well we have companies uh, for the best employer brand the marketeers then we have professionals from healthcare industry and then we have professionals from the it companies they have done some innovation some great work some education of professionals so these are the people who will be joining us very soon and we'll be starting at 2 pm sharp at india time 11:30 am uh uganda tanzania time Uh, you, you know, know Alok, I wanted to also ask you, um, which are the prominent countries from East Africa who would be a part of the program today? Well, we're obviously having uh, participation from Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Ethiopia, Mauritius, South Africa, maybe from Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Burundi. So, is South, South Africa, Africa also, also participating? couple of them who have got uh, major stakes in east african markets uh, okay so ladies and gentlemen that was a wonderful wonderful beginning start to the east africa leadership awards and we will start with our first award for the afternoon the award category is the marketing campaign of the year can we have the av please okay the award goes to the hashtag economic fight against covid-19 from the graphic systems uganda limited the innovation leadership award the next winner i have is salihu sultan billo who is the managing director for action for the needy in ethiopia action for the needy ethiopia ane is an indigenous humanitarian organization in partnership with Ethiopian government, UN agencies, embassies, donor countries and organizations. The main donor for ANA humanitarian projects in Ethiopia are the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, UNHCR. Sometimes it is not the length of the partnership, but the quality of the partnership. For ANA in 2014 to intervene in activities like wash and shelter for the Kenya border suddenly uh, realized that uh, we were asking ourselves where had Ali been all these years because we started realizing the potential and the effectiveness of this particular energy and it did not stop there what we have enjoyed working with Ali is the flexibility of the engagement Ali can be called at very short notice and they will be there the partnership could grow even stronger so we kept entrusting ani with more and more and ani always the most the capacity to absorb more and more we have immensely benefited from this water point built by ani the elderly won't suffer now we are saved from going to battle river to fetch water we are alive because we came here we are at peace now Ani is hugely supporting me and my family. It constructed roads for us. Congratulations to Mr. Billow. Uh, 